It's a treatment that could help keep COVID-19 patients off ventilators. And researchers at the University of Illinois Chicago are on the front line of developing it. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey sat down exclusively with the scientist who made the discovery and is getting a $6 million grant to make it happen. It's called VT109. It was created to help prevent the lung damage that plagues COVID-19 patients. Not only could it help keep them off of a ventilator, but it could help save lives. We started working on this project before the pandemic. Yulia Kamarova has been working on this drug for years, well before COVID-19 hit. So you have to be very persistent when you work in academia, especially on the drug development program. The UIC associate professor in the Department of Pharmacology and Regenerative Medicine tells me it's been shown to prevent lung damage by tightening the barrier between the bloodstream and the lungs. Help them to restore the lung function as well as the function of other organs because everything depends on the lung function. Not just prevent lung damage, but this drug has been shown to restore lung function. Survival in the animals treated with VT109 that otherwise would have likely died was 80%. Within the first few months of the pandemic, it became clear to Kamarova and her team that the implications for human COVID-19 patients were worth investigating. We add in the anti antibiotic pyromycin. They applied for the grant in June 2020 and were just awarded $6 million from the Department of Defense. The studies are very expensive because it's involved in good laboratory practice. They're still at the beginning of a long road, but the grant is an honor for Kamarova, who came to Chicago from Russia two decades ago to do this important work. It's also an honor for her team here at UIC, which is hoping they'll be able to make a significant dent in COVID-19 fatalities in the years to come. We expect that we can save majority of the patients. Kamarova hopes to apply for the FDA's investigational new drug program by July 2024, although she's hopeful it could happen before then. Reporting from the UIC lab, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.